When you think of church, what comes to mind? Maybe you see this, or this, or if you live in Denver, this. When I say church, what do you think of? Candles and long weddings and... <laughs> <laughs> Money. Back then you never used to hear the term super church and now we got those in every corner. So. Any faith is kind of a, a, ve a vessel to reach the divine. Organized religion. Judgmental, holier than thou people. So that's why I don't really ever go to church anymore. A whole lot of bullshit, a uh, whole lot of hypocrisy, a whole lot of lies, a whole lot of people selling you something that wasn't there. For the past 500 years, the majority of people in America were raised Christian, whether they had a say in it or not. Why has religion been passed down for so many generations? Were our parents thinking that it would make us nice people? Well, isn't that special? That it would make us behave? No! I beg your pardon, what did you say? Research shows that people have been ditching organized religion for the past 60 years. So I kind of felt like it was repetitive. I felt like I was just going through the motions. It was necessary for the Catholic Church to kind of deify a prophet. Science explained away half of that, most of that, more than half of it. I don't agree with some of the theology. I mean, just growing up Protestant, yeah. like I just believe a little bit differently. People are passing on Sunday service because faith is irrelevant now. There seem to be a lot of reasons why religion doesn't make sense. Are religious people ignorant? You know what I realize? Ignorance is bliss. People seem to have intelligent reasons for leaving the church. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So why hasn't everyone left the church? In fact, 48% have never left, and 11% left but came back to the Catholic Church. Despite religious wars, despite affronts to women's and LGBT rights, free scandals, its politics, contradictions in the Bible, the internet is full of varying answers and polarizing debate. Are people tired of organized religion? It left me wondering, how can I approach these divisive issues? I'm Father Jason, and some friends and I are going to try by talking with people face to face. In this video series, we want to discuss these issues and even dive deeper by engaging in respectful and intelligent dialogue. Questions like, why are we hyper-connected and yet lonelier than ever? Is spirituality about more than just staying calm and having loose hamstrings? And some of the major issues that people have with the church. I feel like the Catholic Church has a lot to answer for throughout its history. Did you, did you hear what John Paul did where he asked forgiveness? for all those abuses, you know, that happened. Oh really? I was not aware of that. Right? Jesus says, seek and you will find, right? Yeah, it's interesting. I like learning about it. Do you know who, who came up with the theory of the Big Bang? Catholic priest. Here's a man with faith who also believes in reason. If the faith is just pray, pay, and obey, why would yeah, I ever yeah. want to do it? Yeah. Well, I think that's great that you're out yeah. here. And Maybe you grow by, by, like you said, like questioning and searching and, and finding out more. I feel like I probably need to do some more research and like yeah. really look up my religion. You got an issue in mind? Let's talk. To continue this dialogue, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.